So I've got a question from Sahil or Sahil. I don't know if you pronounce the H. Don't uh, hesitate to tell me in the comment. Can you please make a video on how much HTML and CSS we need to learn before starting JavaScript? First, because CSS is seeming so long and tough to master. The minimum amount of CSS you need to align things as it is aligned here, for example, here on IMDB, it's not that complicated. So. These are things that you can learn to do using CSS relatively easily. Meaning that uh, what you see here, for example, the fact that things are aligned this way, it could be done using flex or the grids. So at first it's, it's good to learn the basics of CSS and HTML to be able to create divs, to create sections, with all these kind of things. So first, HTML a week. So if you know nothing about HTML, so let's inspect just to see. So you, you'll see, though, so it will consist in knowing how to create what are these HTML body and divs that allow to create parts of your, your pages, how to create your nav bars with this nav. You see that is underlined here. And then it's mostly a matter of learning flex, flexbox actually, flexbox. You can see here that it is used in order to align uh, things inside inside a container to align all the children inside a container so flex let's say another week and then you probably need to use the grids the css grids that are also extremely powerful so let's say another week so the basics it would take three weeks so there are guys who are able to make amazing things purely with css and uh, at first seeing for example um, this viewer that is not that impressive, but you could see there is a, a nice animation allowing to go from an image to another. This could be purely done using CSS, but as a JavaScript programmer, I would tend to rather use a combination of CSS and JavaScript. So what I mean is if your aim is to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript, then you can just stick with three weeks of learning HTML one week HTML, two weeks CSS, and then practicing. But if then you want to become an expert at CSS and you see doing this kind of super cool effect, so you see this snowball, and so this requires to, to become good at uh, shading. And if we look at it, you play with uh, transparency, you see with uh, U, saturation, light, and A is for alpha. This is part also what you can learn during the first two weeks. Then there will be all this animation, with this transform rotate 20 degrees, etc. This takes a little more time. So this goes beyond the two weeks I mentioned, two or three weeks learning CSS. And then you have keyframes that will allow you to animate the ball for it to have different types of uh, transformation. You see, it's not that big of, of, a, of a file, but it's 140 lines. But you see, this is not super advanced, but it's super creative. The guy did had a great ideas, and this kind of creativity you get with experience. So clearly, the guy who did this must have years of experience in CSS. But you could retrieve this kind of code and then modify it to change the speed, to change the color, to change um, this shadow be behind trading behind the ball. Also, you see these kind of things, it's a kind of effect. You see that this nice blurry effect, the same that one that you have on the road when it's, it's a very hot and sunny day. So this is, <laughs> this is way more advanced than what we saw before. And when you click on it, you see you can't see <laughs> the butt of the cat. This takes more work. And um, yes, 700 lines. So you see, this is not something that you would be asked to do as a regular front-end developer. But if you really want to become a graphic designer who also knows how to animate, then you can devote more time on CSS, but less time uh, on JavaScript. So that's why I was asking this question. It really depends on if you want to become more of a graphic designer or more a front-end developer. And then you have this kind of, of, super, of super cool effect. You see this neon effect, so cool. So the guy used 3JS. So you can also use uh, and learn and become proficient using very powerful libraries that allow to make super cool CSS libraries. So you see, it depends on how far you want to go with CSS. 
if you just want to be the kind of developer who will consume an API that will return all the movies that then you have to display and then create just this kind of, of cool image viewer, you don't need that much CSS. So I would say that full time, one month is enough, but then you need to practice.